Well, here we are early in the morning, Clemson, South Carolina, at the hotel lookout the window this morning, and more rain. Disappointing. I guess I should have checked the weather uh, forecast. <clears throat> My plan was this morning to walk around campus and take some pictures and some videos and stuff. Still might be able to do that, I don't know. It's kind of off and on rain. Uh, we're just gonna get some breakfast and uh, see if it's raining. If it's not raining, I'll do that. If it is, then um, I won't. So anyway. All right, we're here outside the stadium. Uh, they have all kinds of construction going on out here. So this entire road uh, leading on the hillside of the stadium is closed. Uh, they're doing construction and that's what I'm trying to show you. I'm illegally parked here. <laughs> so hopefully uh, if we walk over here, I don't come back to a ticket or a tow truck, which would be even worse. So I would like to take 20 or 30 minutes and walk around here, but I, I don't think I can leave my car for that long. Uh, I'd be pissed if I got towed. Anyway, here's the... Uh... Wow, look at this. Holy crap. So what they're doing here is they're adding seats and they're gonna put a new uh, Jumbotron in there. So I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work. Um, if the hill area is gonna be smaller because of the seats or <clears throat> I don't know, but they're adding, a, they're adding a few thousand seats right here in this, this corner is what I think it is, uh, right here in front of me. Uh, this is wild looking. I'm gonna have to drive around the other side and see if I can see what it looks like from the Oculus side. So that's where I was at yesterday in, in, the, uh, in the live video. We we're on the Oculus side uh, of the stadium. Of course, they've got this all fenced off here. So it's hard to really, uh, it's really hard to see anything. So right about uh, here, you see, I don't know if you can see where that red box is, whatever that thing, that red box that's on the, on the, anyway, this would be the entrance and, uh, and where Howard's Rock is. And then the hills right behind that, obviously. Uh, let's see. Uh, there's nobody out here, I guess, cause it's Sunday morning. Nobody out here. Busting up all that concrete. Yeah, then they've got this thing locked down like a fortress. They don't want people like me walking up and getting crushed by a big piece of concrete or something and suing the school, you know? Yeah, you can't really see anything. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk around because I wanna show you something over here anyway. I hope they don't have this blocked off. I, I doubt that they do. Uh, but here, as much as you can see of it is indeed uh, Death Valley. All right, so this is one of my favorite places near the stadium that I go to before every time I come to a game. One of the several reasons that uh, the stadium has been called Death Valley, obviously because of Howard's Rock, is from Death Valley. It's built into a valley, uh, the stadium is. And there is a lot of death, literal death, right here next to the stadium is an old graveyard and <laughs> we're gonna walk through it I usually walk through it every time I come uh, because to me there's something cool about it I don't know
They could bury me next to the stadium. I'd be just fine with that. Now, this is something new. I've never seen this before. Unmarked grave, please be respectful. So there must be graves that they found underneath here that are new. Uh, that's I've never seen that before. But here it is. Uh, most of these are very, very old, obviously. I mean, you can go in there for all the way back into the 1800s. Uh, some even some even older than that. So, but you can see just how close. I mean, it's literally right. You can I could throw a rock and hit the and hit the stadium from the from the graveyard there. Cemetery. And they had benches and stuff up in there. Uh, that sometimes would go would sit on before the game, and just uh, take in the scenery. Of course, on game day, this is all packed with people. Uh, coming up this hill and then down the hill to the other side where the other gate is. You know, it goes back a ways back there. It's pretty big. I'll well, see, here's what I'm talking about, some of the benches. Yeah. It's really weird being around this and uh, around the campus one and then the stadium two, and just not seeing a single person, not a not a worker, not a student, not another person doing what I'm doing. Literally zero people in this whole area. <coughs> the week before Christmas. So much the construction going on right here too, on the other side. I don't know what they're doing there. Huh. I wish I could see into the stadium because I want to see. Did they plow that hill up? <laughs> they must have, but maybe it's probably just dirt now. And they really make it hard to see anything. that building you can see up in the distance there that's the basketball coliseum little john that's where we were last night uh over this way you can't see it from where well, you can kind of see it anyway over that way is where the football facility is all right now here's i can kind of see is this open no no it's not open oh damn it uh, no, it looks like there still is grass on the hill. I don't know if, any, if it, anybody can see that. There's still grass on the hill. Kinda. I can't believe how locked down this is, man. I, I thought I might be able to get some, even if they were distant pictures of the inside of the stadium, but it, it there's just no way. Here is the Oculus, uh, which is 10 times better than that uh, million dollar brass hen that they put outside of that uh, dumpster fire called Williams Brace. This is way cooler and it lights up at night. Look how tall that thing is. It's gotta be 300 feet. 200 feet anyway. I don't know exactly. <clears throat> yeah. So that's it. I mean, I, I guess that's it because I'm not going to be able to get any pictures. I wish there was somebody that was out here and that would let me in. I would, I would at least ask them and they could tell me no. But... 
I would like to at least ask them uh, if I could come in for five minutes and take some pictures. Hold on. This is about as good as you're gonna get, I think. And it's not very good. <laughs> no. Nope. So. This is the tennis courts there's the soccer fields up here of course uh, uh 2021 men's national champions this is their uh this is their home field here it's hard to see driving so this is bowman field and that's tillman hall behind it uh so whenever college game day comes to town this is where they broadcast from on this big field here in front of Tillman and there is Tillman All right, I decided to pull in here because driving by is not gonna really show you anything uh, as you can see I don't know how he's if you can tell how wet it is on the field here and obviously all the grass has gone dormant for the winter time so it's all brown uh, but during the season it's beautiful typically a bunch of people out here laying on you know laying around eating lunch throwing a frisbee whatever and there's Tillman <coughs> I wonder if it's open Probably not. I'm not gonna go inside anyway. And there's the famous clock tower. This is a statue of uh, Thomas Green Clemson, who is obviously the founder of Clemson College before it became Clemson University. Here. All right, so here's downtown Clemson is what I was calling it. Uh, this is just, like I said, about a mile long street of restaurants, bars, shops. Uh, there's the very famous study hall bar. TDs is down here on the corner. Uh, there's the Charleston Sports Pub. The Clemson Charleston Sports Pub. There's one in Charleston too, obviously. And we're about to go in this Clemson uh, athletic store here and see if we can get Pete Jr. a shirt or something. We're on over here too. There's a famous. Uh, Mr. Nickenbacher store, another uh, apparel store there. Actually closed down and then somebody reopened it. It's been there. That That's obviously a new building, but the, the, the store itself has been there for God, I don't, I don't even know how many decades, long, long time. Hey. Damn, there's a truck on fire. Hope everybody's okay. 